Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Needlepoint TV. I'm Ellen Johnson, and I'm going to be your host this afternoon. We are going to chat a little bit about needlepoint stands. So if you are new to the needlepoint game, then you may or may not have ever heard uh, about needlepoint stands or needlework stands. So we're going to uh, solve some of those uh, questions for you or answer some of those questions for you. And if you've been using uh, or doing needlepoint for a while, you may be familiar with stands, but you may not use one yourself. In fact, you may be curious about what the best kind of stand is for you to use for your projects. So let me just give you a little bit of background information. First of all, there are all kinds of needlework stands available. The primary ones that you're going to find in the needlepoint industry are going to be the Needlework System 4 stands. There is another company called Kay's Creations. Those stands are made out of wood. And I'll back up and say that the Needlework System 4 stands are made out of aluminum. And then there's another kind of stand that is called the Lowry Work Stand. And those are made out of stainless steel. Now, there are several other different kinds of stands that you can use, but those are the three kinds that I'm the most familiar with and the two kinds that I carried in my shop when I had my brick and mortar store. So the Case Creations um, were the very first needlework stands that I carried and the very first stands that I used for needlepoint projects. And then in addition to that, the Needlework System 4 stands, which actually came into the market um, after uh, I had had my store for probably... I would say, oh gee, I don't even want to say, but for a few years, let's just say that I had had my shop for a few years before the Needlework System 4 frames became available, or at least before I was made aware of them. So um, what we're going to talk about today, in addition to the Needlework System 4 stands, are the two kinds of stands that you can that you can use. So first of all, there is what's called a floor stand. And then there is what's called a laptop or a tabletop stand. So, and I'll show you, uh, I've done a couple of little videos for you to show you the Needlework System 4 versions of both of those. I use the Needlework System 4 stands the most. Um, I, I have several case creation stands, but for whatever reason, I find myself gravitating more towards those Needlework System 4 stands. You would use the, the two different kinds of stands, either tabletop or laptop, which are typically the same thing, or a floor stand. It depends on what your preference is for where you like to work. So, for example, I like to sit in my chair in the den and watch television, and I, I use a floor stand or a lap stand. It, it really... I use them interchangeably, but if you like to sit at a table, you're definitely going to want to investigate or think about using a laptop or a tabletop stand. The floor stand that I have, which is the Needlework System floor for Travelmate floor stand, that one will fold down and compact, so it's super easy to transport if you're going to a class, when we get to do that again in person, or if you're taking a trip, but you'll see all that in just a second. So I guess really the best thing to do is, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think so. The best thing to do at this point is for me to just go ahead and share that video with you right now. So let me do that. And we'll just watch together and uh, I'll answer any questions that anybody may have afterwards. So thanks for being here with me and I'll catch you again in just a sec. Mm -hmm. Hi there. I'm going to show y'all how to put the Needlework System 4 Travel Mate stand together. Actually, this is what it looks like all compacted and folded down so you can see it's super easy to um, fold it up and put it in your car to take to a class or um, you know you can can travel with it um, if you're just going on a fun trip someplace so the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this back bar that helps to secure it um, so that it'll stand up straight so I'm going to take that off all right and then you can stand it up or stretch it out like this and this bar actually fits on the back side and all you do is put it on the floor and you have to hold it whoops have to hold it steady until you get it put together but um, super easy these little t-knobs are really easy to to use even if you have um, some arthritis in your hands like i do so there it is standing up see how easy that was 
And then the other thing that you can do, of course, is you're going, whoops, wrong one. See, all these little knobs do all these different things. So <laughs> this, this little knob right here is what you turn to extend this arm out. And that makes it um, easy for you to, you'll see in just a second, easy for you to um, adjust so that you can get your frame to you either, you know, you, you can work on um, either lowering it or raising it up depending on what, um, you know, what works best for you. So this is the universal clamp. The universal clamp just fits onto the arm extension arm and then you just and you can actually leave this on you don't have to take it off when you're folding it down i just took it off so that y'all could see how easy it is to really take this thing apart and, and put it back together again so the teeth on the um on the side of it you can unscrew a little bit and you can see you you can move it up but you just have to make sure you have the teeth on the two two pieces um, so that they fit together, kind of like the teeth on a zipper. All right, so now I'm going to get up and put my needlepoint canvas on my stand. So, as you can see, it's really lightweight. I can pick it up with one hand. This, this knob at the top is what you unscrew to open this up so that your frame will fit in there. So, it's easy to get your frame in there, and you just screw the um, knob until you feel the resistance and then your frame is in there and you're ready to start stitching. So easy peasy and you can, I'll show you. Obviously this is too high. So what I would need to do is loosen this knob on the side and lower the canvas until it's at the appropriate height for me for the chair that I'm sitting in. So there we go and I'm ready to start stitching. Hi there, I'm gonna show you now how to use the uh, Needlework System 4 tabletop or lap frame. It's obviously from the same company that created the Travel Mate stand that I demonstrated for you in the other video. This one is the tabletop version, the small version. You can actually take this apart. I'll show you how. Um, you just unscrew that knob and take this arm off. And you see, easy to take it apart and put it back together again. It's just really two pieces, unless you count the frame clamp as the third piece, which you can also take off if you unscrew this knob and, and then just take that off. But we're not going to do that here. I'm going to put this back on and show you how easy this is to work with in um, your favorite chair. Of course, you can, um, like I said, work on the, work with this frame on a tabletop too. You're not limited to just using it as a lap stand. So if you go to a class or if you'd like to work at a table, um, you certainly can do that. So now let me get in my chair. The one thing you wanna be really careful about when you're deciding whether or not you wanna get a lap stand like this is to make sure that it'll fit between the arms of the chair that you're gonna be using when you're stitching. So let me put my little canvas in here. The, the, the clamp is the same as the clamp on the travel mate. So you just loosen the top knob until you can get the frame in there and then you tighten it back up and that'll secure it and you can adjust this so that you can get it at the right angle for where you're sitting and you're ready to start stitching easy peasy right okay so i'm gonna now pop over here and look at the comments um Okay, good deal. I'm hoping now that um, I, because I couldn't see the comments as the, um, as y'all were typing them in while I was doing the video, I'm hoping that you were able to see and hear that okay. We're going to keep my fingers crossed. If you can, if you give me a thumbs up, if you're watching on Facebook or a happy face or something to let me know that you could, um, that you could, that you could hear everything okay. Know that you will have um, if you want to watch this as a recording again, you will have the audio, obviously, if by some fluke chance <laughs> there was not any audio. So, all right. So that is really interesting. Okay, good deal. Oh, makes me feel so much better because I happened to look on my computer and it, it said that the microphone was muted and I was like, oh, oh, please let them be able to hear these video, the video. So, okay, good deal. 
That makes me feel a lot better. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mary Beth, for, for sharing that with me. And Dana, thank you too. All right. So um, what I wanted to just make sure that I remind you of as well is that every Thursday, I also have a blog post that's typically related to the Tuesday um, episode of Needlepoint TV. So that holds true this week. On Thursday, there will be a more in-depth um, blog post about needlework stands. So if you're more interested or if you're interested in more detail, rather, then you might want to make sure that you check in on Thursday to the Serendipity Needleworks website to get more information about um, different kinds of stands. And um, that's, you know, I'll, I'll be sharing information about the case creations and the Needlework System 4. And so um, I'll also, I have some, a little bit of information about the Lowry work stands that I'll be sharing. Uh, we'll see about whether or not that goes in Thursday's blog post. I'm not sure because, uh, in fact, I may actually end up breaking this up into to three different posts because the different types of, of stands are, I have found to be useful in different situations. So Kay's Creations makes actually quite a variety of stands that are good um, for other applications, larger projects. Um, I, I love some of their floor stands that are for larger projects. So just a variety of different uh, of different things. So just stay tuned, check our weekly blog post that gets posted every Thursday um, and know that this week will definitely be about needlework stands and possibly a couple of more coming down the pipeline um, in the not too distant future. So if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure that you click that little red button down below and subscribe so that you don't miss anything. Because if you do, and if you add that little bell, if you click on the bell, then you will get notified anytime I've uploaded something new or anytime I go live. This today actually was supposed to be a pre-recorded episode, but life happens. And I ended up taking my mom to the doctor this morning at 7.45. So um, last minute, she's fine. Everything's good. But uh, last minute uh, appointment there sort of sidetracked me on getting things um, uploaded as a pre-recorded video. So it's always a delight to be here with you. Um, it's especially fun to be here with you live because I miss that part of this. I miss being with you and getting to say hello in person. And so this is, we'll just make some lemonade out of lemons and, um, and, and just thank you ever so much for being here with me. If you're watching this as a recording, please make sure that you tell me where you're watching from. It's always great fun for me to see. And also, um, if you are watching this as a recording, or even if you're watching this now, let me know what kind of needlework stand you use if you use one. And if you don't, then um, if you have questions, of course, feel free to ask those questions down in the comments below too. I'll be happy to answer those. You don't have to do it live. You can do it if you're watching as a recording. I do keep a check on those things and try to get those answered just as quickly as possible. So thank you for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.